One of our pigeons. It was shot about three weeks ago and Bear's now eating it. God, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> So, what, so, how do you so that out? what we've so done, should we go through the whole stage? Okay guys, so we've got the pigeon, we're going to start off by taking his wings off. We're going to twist the body, we're going to listen for a lovely crack as he breaks his tendons, and then off comes one wing. We'll do the same thing with the other one, because that's nice and quick, we all know how to do it already. Then, here's his head, and we'll lose that. Okay, off comes the head. It's easier just with the fingers now. And in there we've got his last meal, which looks like he had a nice feed on some ivy berries and some clover. I wouldn't eat that personally, but it's up to the pigeon, I suppose. We'll get that out, and then this is the fun bit. In goes the finger. Move it around. Split it in half. And then out comes. Now this is the bit that I don't like having to do. I've got to smell it. But as I've got bear here, shall I, shall I get bear to smell it? Yeah! Oh, oh, tell me it smells alright. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> to me it just smells like a nice old fashioned butcher shop. <laughs> Maybe not the best butcher shop. And then we're left with what's known as the poor man's crown. Massive pigeon breast, pretty much ready to cook and turn into something like that stuff. <laughs> Pretty cool. <laughs> so not eating that. Have you, any of you guys have done that? Yeah. Well done, wow. And who hasn't had pigeon? Try a little bit of that. Oh my god, Jamie, how did you do it? Well done. Did you try something?